This is a short video demonstration to show you the MediaLink Plus iPod integration kit for the Lexus GS460, also available for other Lexus models with Generation 5 navigation. So I installed this a couple of days ago. The system is up here. What you see is that uh, you've got a menu interface which is much better than the old one. It's pretty much the same as what you have on an iPod. So for instance, if I want to find an album, I just scroll down to Albums here, select it, and you see here I've got all of the albums in my collection here. One thing that you notice is that it's very fast to find an album. So for instance, if I wanted to scroll to say, um, well, you know, I'll just show you the scrolling feature, but if I'm scrolling down, what you notice is if I hold the button a bit longer, it'll start scrolling by letter which makes it very fast to find what you need. So I'm here on P, I can scroll within P, I can pick an album, select it, and press play. Now, obviously in this video demonstration I can't uh, uh, demonstrate how good the sound quality is because the microphone on the iPhone is not great but the sound quality truly is superb and this is one of the things that I've been most impressed by that when I play a CD uh, in the DVD player of the Mark Levinson deck the sound quality that I'm hearing which is all digital is equally good to the lossless mp3s that I'm playing uh, over the ML Plus system and that um, is just an outstanding experience that you're getting uh, basically flawless, lossless sound quality, uh, something which I did not have with the older SL2i model. If I skip back, I'll show you some of the other menus. Um, under the artists menu, you see that uh, you have the artists. You don't have album art for the artists, but if you select a particular artist, what you'll see is that uh, underneath, you should be able to see all of the albums from that artist. So if I select, for instance, uh, Britney Spears here, oops, scrolling in the wrong direction, you'll see that I've got a couple of albums there, and it shows me the clip art for each of them um, underneath Britney Spears. It's got a hierarchical browsing system. Um, if I go down to songs, you'll see that again, you know, it's really quick to find stuff. So like, for instance, if I wanted to select Dancing in the Dark, that's probably like, you know, uh, a couple of thousand songs in. In the old system, it would take forever to scroll to that. In the new system, it's actually pretty fast. So I just go down here. Um, I get to D, I press Enter, then I scroll within the Ds down to uh, Dancing in the Dark. And here we go, Dancing in the Dark. So on the whole, the navigation and the speed of navigation is just truly superb. You've got a range of options here. The other thing I may not have shown you is uh, the in-song controls. So if you look at the in-song controls, uh, I've got uh, these two left and right buttons allow me to skip forward and backward among the tracks within the system. Sorry, Les Jamo went off by mistake. Um, <clears throat> I can also press the button in the bottom right corner and bring up these additional controls, which allow me to fast forward, rewind, pause, activate shuffle mode, and press the repeat button. The same controls that you would have on your iPod. But what's nice is that they're very easily uh, accessible and elegantly built into this interface. Press the button again, and uh, it disappears. Now the last thing I'd like to show you is how I can move into the system mode and then switch to the iPod video mode. So if I click anywhere on the screen here, you'll see that now I've got a different menu on the right hand side. This first button is setup, and if I do that I can actually set up the system to decide how many inputs I want or outputs I want to be using. As you can see that on the left there are various modes and what I've done is I've actually set it up so that only the iPod out and the iPod video out modes are active. If I had like additional backup cameras, a DVD player, other types of video devices I wanted to integrate, I could activate some of those additional inputs, but at the moment I've chosen not to have them active. 
This button here, source settings, allows me to adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, color tone, and audio level. So audio level, for instance, you notice that sometimes if you're switching between your iPod kit and your satellite radio or your DVD pl or CD player, you sometimes have different volume levels. This, th this setting effectively allows me to harmonize them so that I'm hearing an equal volume from the ML Plus system. But uh, that, that backup camera mode uh, is not available right now. The final thing is the source settings. And if I press the source settings, I can select iPod Video Out here. Now what you notice in this mode is that unlike in the iPod Audio Out, you don't have a menu to navigate your videos. So if you want to navigate your videos, you literally have to take out your iPod and uh, select among the videos here. And so I'm going to uh, just provide you a bit of a demonstration of the video by selecting uh, one of the videos uh, that is on my iPod. Um, and you'll get a sense of uh, how it works. What you'll find is that the video quality is just truly uh, superb. So when you select a video, the first thing that notice, you notice is this combination lock comes up. Um, you normally have to enter a code in order to unlock the motion override, or the parking brake override rather. In my case, I'm just going to press the TV button on my center console for the uh, prestigious society kit, and now I'll have the video active. Now what you'll notice is that the video quality is just truly superb. Um, this is a standard definition video which the ML Plus is upscaling to uh, its 480 by 800 display and it really does look fantastic. Um, and you know this is one of the things which I think truly separates the ML Plus from the SL2 IC is the video quality. So, um, the one area which I think that this video interface could be improved is it would be nice if I could navigate among my music videos using an interface on the screen similar to the iPod Plus interface. However, I can't do that and so every time I want to change video tracks I have to use my iPod which uh, is a bit inconvenient since I normally locate it in the glove box. Um, however, you know, it works very well and uh, you can play a wide range of videos. And you can also create playlists which allow you to skip back and forth between different types of videos. So uh, you get the idea. Again, if I switch back, just press this, go back to iPod Out, and we're going to be back to the original screen um, and uh, playing the original audio tracks. So I hope you found that helpful and um, look for a uh, sort of more detailed information on how to fit it and think about this versus the SL2IC on my other online reviews.